now have all of our layers imported, all of our colors, everything's labeled correctly, all of the folders are labeled correctly, everything's spelled right, they're all where they need to be. Now let's run the script and generate our NFTs, okay? So that's what this chapter is about. And if you guys enjoy this, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and stay up to date with all the tutorials that I do and um, all the giveaways that I've got going on. And uh, that way you can stay informed and hopefully make some Wi-Fi bread in the process. So now we're gonna go to generate these NFTs. We're gonna go to file. We're gonna go down to scripts and we're gonna go to the browse. Click on that and we're gonna go to the folder on the C drive hash lips and we're gonna go to the folder that our project was in and now we're gonna click on generate uh, the JavaScript file and load that and this window will pop up and it'll say you're about to use the hash lips R generator are you sure you want to continue click yes how many images do you want to generate let's go ahead and for this tutorial generate 30 okay so this is where you're going to do your the name of your collection. So we'll call them CRISPR Apes. And this is the description. And you can edit this once you deploy your um, uh, collection onto OpenSea. You can go, you know, log into your OpenSea and you can just edit the collection. So you don't have to go too crazy here. We can just say, uh, what would I say? okay 30 images and click okay and then 30 images will be generated so sit back relax and enjoy the art being generated thank you hash lips so we'll go ahead and click on that and click okay and you don't have to worry about the eyes and uh, what's being hidden or not it will um, it'll generate all of those without you having to do anything so now you say so we're going to wait until this has generated and we're going to go and find these nft images i said well where where's well i, I hit okay where, where are the nfts we're going to go and locate that folder okay once it's done this window will pop up and say oh the generation process is complete okay sounds great so those files are back in your hashlips folder right where you created your project so where all where you put the project file the photoshop file that i gave you to download in you're going to click on the build folder click on the build folder and inside you have your metadata and you have your images so click on images and as you can see we have 35 different style of apes that we just created so uh, it's pretty cool um, in regards to that, but what's awesome is that it's done on Photoshop guys so uh, This series right here. I really wanted to just talk about How to create a project in Photoshop with layers and how to how you're creating these different Combinations and how to come up with the combinations because I get asked a lot about the art So this one was really more about the art and I use the ape NFTs as an example for educational purposes you blockheads I better not see a collection that literally looks like this and all you did was download this and ran it and uploaded it as a collection. Do not be that blockhead, my friend. Switch it up. You should be doing your own collection in the first place. All right, so you should be making your own art in the first place. Uh, this is just an example, but this is something that you can do. And people are doing it anyways, you know what I'm saying? Do whatever you want to do. If you want to go make that monkey money, go do it. But switch it up a bit. I better not see anybody do exactly this. But here it is. It looks pretty good. Very cool. You can switch all that up, and that looks great. Oh, so back here we can see that our eyes are over the hat. So we want to go back and make sure that our layers, so the head accessory needs to go up last and the eyes underneath that. Okay, so let's go ahead and run it again. 
Okay, now that I reran that, let's go back to the build folder and check the images. And now it looks like all of the eyes are underneath the hats. And you can see this guy's eyes are still brown, even though his body is green. So that is a challenge that we're going to need to address. See? So some of those eyes aren't going to work. Okay. So since we changed those skin color of all of those characters, these eyes won't work. These eyes won't work. So we're going to get rid of those two sets of eyes because they won't work. All of these glasses will. So just something that you want to check. Let's rerun it again. Okay, we reran it and it's done now. And remember, the bigger your collection when you are generating it, the longer it's going to take. So make sure to keep your Photoshop open and let it run. All right. So now that we have reran it again, let's go back to our build folder and check out our new ones. And all of these should be good now. I don't see any issues with the eye color. That was the problem. All the everything else looks good. The layering is good. And this is why we test. So you want to test to make sure everything looks good and is lined up. And then you can feel confident. Then you go ahead and run your, you know, a thousand collection or whatever. If you do 10,000 on this Photoshop, good night. I guarantee you it's going to take a long time. Oh my gosh. I hope your system is prepared for that. Um, but you know, this is just an example, a great way of how easy it is to just crank out collections at, at a whim. So, uh, so easy. So, you know, I hope you guys like this kind of content. And if you do, go ahead and please subscribe to the channel and um, stay in touch with all of the different updates and contests and giveaways that I do. I appreciate it. So, you know. You know what to do.